G'day guys, so today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on how to make a new form in your solution. Now you might want to do this if you are doing a quiz and you want to have multiple questions, you might have a form for each question. That means you can have a customized interface for each question, so different pictures or colors or whatever based on the question. Now it's quite simple to do, so if we just write, uh, come over here to our solution explorer, and right click the name of our solution. So prac in this case, right click it, press come down to add, come across to new item. It opens this window here. Now the one we want is called form brackets windows form. So click that then come down to name, give it a name. So we'll call it um, question one because we'll put question one on it. And then we can click add. And as you can see, that's created a new form. Quite simple. Now we can always go back to our last form. In the, in the Solution Explorer, we can see form one, which is our original forms here. So if we double click it, it opens that. And our new question form is here. So we, if we want to look at that, we double click that one as well. Okay. Now, next, how do we actually get between the forms? Okay. So. Let's start by placing a button on the screen. Now that button is going to be what we will press to move to our new form. Place it over here. All right, let's call it BTN next. BTN stands for button and next means well next. Okay, let's scroll down to our text field down here. Type in next. And then we can double click the button. Okay, so we're going to need a little bit of code here for you. Um, and this might be a bit confusing at first, but it, it's simple if you just follow the directions. Okay, so firstly, we will need to remember the name we called our form, which if we ever need to check is just over here. So what we need to type in is form. This just tells the computer that we're going to make a new variable called form or a new item that we're going to work with called form and we called it question one so question one equals new this just tells us uh, tells the computer that we're now working with a new form called question one and it tells us the computer also that we are using this particular one. Oh, a semicolon at the end. So the code should look exactly like that. But whatever you called your form will be here and here. It doesn't have to be here. You can say something else, but it's a lot easier if you keep them the same. Okay. And then we just simply type in question one dot show. There we go. If we run this now, click the button, we can see our new form came up. Okay. Now there's one more thing I would like to show you. Well, two more things. And let's just delete that code real quick. There's one more thing I'd like to show you, and that's how you close a form or close your application. Now there's two different ways we can do this. So if we go back to our main form, Let's place a new button here. And we can call it ETN close. OK. And then give it the text exit or something like that. Now let's double click that button. And again, as always, it generates us a new piece of code here that we can then put our, our code in and we have um, to make sure it's between the brackets. So how are we going to do this? There's two ways. We can type in this as in the form that's open that I'm currently on now, close. There we go. And that will close the form. So let's give that a quick test works. 
Um, so this will close whatever form you have open. If you um, run it on the main form like we just did, which is the form that first opens when you start your project, then it will close everything. But if it closes on one of the other forms, such as the one we just created, it should only close that form. Okay? So to demonstrate that, let's do the same thing over here on our new form. We'll call this one ETN close as well. We'll call it close. Give it the name, uh, sorry, text close. Double click it. Um, this dot close. Hit start. Now let's hit next. Press close and it only closes that form. Now there is another way you can do it from that other form or even from your main form that will make sure that you've closed everything. And that is a little bit different. So let's go back to our question one. Design view. Let's throw another button down just so we can put in this other method. We can call it BTN or button for short. Close all. Yeah, let's give it some text too. Close all. Okay, now if we just click this button and type in in our in our new generated code area, we can just type in application dot exit then those brackets and semicolon. Now let's test that. Yeah, next button to open that form. Let's test the close all button and it closes everything. Okay, so guys, that's how you create a new form, switch between forms and close forms in a under eight minutes. Alright, signing off.